What is up, ladies and gentlemen? CJ the Cheese DJ here, and we are back with another Greedful video for you guys today. And today we're showing you how to make unlimited amounts of money. Now, guys, a bit of a disclaimer: this is a bit of a slow way, and I am sure that there are faster ways out there. But this is just the way uh, we have come up with, pretty much. So, guys, first off, what you want to do is you want to head to uh, the Black Lands. We'll show you on the map. But these dudes are also part of part of this money making process as well these guys are optional you don't have to utilize them to help make money but uh it definitely increases your chances of making a little bit more money so guys after you finish killing these guys they will drop some loot that they normally do now you pretty much want to keep an eye out for the ones that have them not money bags but they look like they have a bag symbol this pretty much means that they are not rare loot but loot that you can sell to merchants or vendors so for example that was just parts that we got so you can't you can sell that but it doesn't sell for much the main stuff that you want to look for is when it opens ac actually up in an inventory slot so pretty much intact heart uh you can see his scales they sell for 12 gold as well now this is completely optional it is a little bit time consuming but it is a good way to farm xp as well now like i was saying you do want to come to the village of eden which is in Tear Dob, the Blacklands, which is just here. You can see here, New Serene is down here. You've got the Redwoods here, and then the Blacklands here. So once you're in here, you want to come to the Village of Eden, which is right here, or this area here. Make sure you get this campfire, because that is pretty much the fast travel point. Now, once you get here, you'll actually come into the village, and you'll see that on the front there is a contract board. Now, on this contract board, there is a mission to hunt down certain uh, monsters, and uh, they provide you with three alchemical traps next to it. Now, with these traps, they are actually self-replenishing. So, guys, all you need to do is come over to your campfire, go to sleep for 24 hours. You can see here we're going to go 22 hours, and then just going to sleep again. Boom. And then just like that, head back over to the notice board, and you will see that the chest is magically refilled. Oh, <gasps> look at that. Now, these traps only sell for five a pop. You can see there, five gold pieces. But you can essentially farm these forever. Like, they just never run out. As well as that, you can also farm the guys on the left there. They do respawn every 48 hours as well. So, well, not every 48 hours, every 24 hours. So you can do that as well. And it's a little bit of extra side gig. Uh, you get a little bit of extra XP and you do gain the extra chance of getting uh, materials. So you can do that as well. But uh, watch, we've just rested again and you'll see that the chest is magically refilled. So guys, that is pretty much all you need. Now, once you go, once you've gotten enough, you can see here we've got something like 46 of them. So that'll sell for about 200 gold, roughly 250 gold, which you know is a decent amount of a decent amount of money. Now this only really takes about a minute, if that, 30 seconds even, to run between the trap and the campfire rest, and then run back. That is, oh uh, yeah, I'd say a pound on par with a minute. So you're making about 15 gold a minute, which is pretty damn fast. I haven't really found any other sort of way to make gold in Greedfall, aside from doing like quests and stuff like that. So if you want a way to make a bit of money pretty quickly to buy a weapon or something that you're after, this is definitely so far the best way to do it. As well as that, this also works with ingredients. So you can see there that Hawthorne also replenishes itself every 48 hours. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much going to be all there is for this video. There's not real much point for us uh, talking about it anymore. Now, if you bump your charisma up, I don't believe it increases the selling prices. It only increases, it only decreases the selling prices of the merchants. So there's no point in factoring in charisma into this as well. But uh, yeah, guys, that's going to wrap up the video today. So just a quick recap, make sure you come over to the Blacklands, Eden Camp, and the notice board right here. Sleep for 48 hours, or 24 hours, but 48 hours is easiest. And uh, the, the chest will replenish itself of the traps. So guys, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully this helped. If it did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe down below for more. But other than that, I will catch you in the next one. And I got this soul.